Hello friends, welcome to today's practice as we are getting ready to close a month and the weather is cold and rainy. I thought we would do our mindfulness practice indoors this week. And it's in a way very good for all of us to pause and reflect for a second on what it is that we're gaining from intentionately and deliberating, deliberately bringing our movement practice into our life. So if you are anything like me, you often feel stressed out and overwhelmed and uh, anxious and many ways more anxious than you would dare to admit to anybody publicly and you really struggle with finding balance and a sense of groundedness and a sense of self even though you know that being grounded and peaceful and mindful are really helpful for for you Today is a practice of deep breathing that invites us to reflect to where your energy, where our energy collectively went in this last three, four weeks. And as we do so, let's go ahead and find our chairs, our seated, seated position really rest your back against the back of the chair without slouching in it so elevate yourself lift your head up lift your spine towards the sky and you can either soften your gaze like you're looking forward towards your chair or your table or your floor or keep looking at the screen and looking at me i wanted to invite you to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and the first question I'd like to ask you as you're breathing and meditating with me, what is it that you remember doing in this last month? Think of as many things as you can. You remember drinking your coffee, walking your dog. Do you remember locking your door and putting your key in the lock and actually turning the lock? If you went for a walk or a run, do you remember tying your shoelaces? What color is your shoelace of your most favorite walking shoe? What does the bottom of your shoe look like? Take the time to notice in your mind's eye all the things that you remember doing this last month and as we do that let's go ahead and breathe in and using our nose only for exhalation breathe out same question for you as you take a deep breath in what do you remember thinking this last month can you actually point to five, six, ten thoughts? What is it that you remember thinking? And let's go ahead and close our eyes again and try to see almost like the old fashioned Rolodex. I still have one of those Rolodexes on my, on my desk. Almost like you're filing through a quick cabinet or a little Rolodex and seeing the little cards. What are some of the thoughts that you thought in this last four weeks? Are there any patterns of thought emerging for you? Can you notice the energy of the thoughts? Are they generative, uplifting, vibrant, powerful? Or are they depleting, limiting, scared, constrictive, take a deep breath in here, the next reflection thought 
or practice. What do you remember feeling now? Feeling could be a sensory feel, like you literally remember feeling textures or feeling the fur maybe of your cat or your dog as you petted your pet. Or maybe you feel the texture of your hair or your kid's hair as you brushed their hair or the texture of a fruit or a vegetable. You could literally feel, but you can also drop down into the heart and try to remember what is it that you felt? What are all the feelings? What is the range? In the United States, we had a very big month. We had a new president. We have a new beginning. We have to contend with a pandemic that is still hard to manage and causing a lot of grief. Take a deep breath in and give yourself permission to see what is the range of all the feelings you have felt? Was there joy present? Excitement? Delight? pleasure? Was there a feeling of indifference? Neither good nor bad, just there. All the way down to the other side of the spectrum. Were there feelings of fear, anger, confusion? And as you breathe into those feelings and you invite them all to this mindful moment, what do you notice about yourself today? What's present for you right now? Let's do this one more time, breathing in and breathing out. And with an awareness of self, bringing our hands to our face, washing over our back, reaching behind us as far as we can, and allowing our energy to flow down and up. Remember how we reach behind our back here? And then we trace in front, and then we come back to the top. Almost like we're deliberately starting to move some of these energy and they're spiraling around us and they're moving. And then with a really deep desire to release and let go, we're just going to shake our hands out. You know when you wash your hands and then you shake the water off? Breathe in and release. One more time, breathe in and release. And then bringing your hands to your heart and pausing here. I invite you to consider doing this practice once a week. It's a practice of reflection, of noticing what you did, where your energy was drained and what actually replenished your energy. What is it that supports you and what is it that doesn't? And if there's something that doesn't support you on all levels, physically, mentally, spiritually, energetically, would you please consider releasing? Bless and release is something one of my good friends, Lenera, says this often. Bless and release. Could you bless it and release it? As always, I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to know how this video has impacted you, what your reflection practice has discovered. Was there any aha moment, any aha thought that you had around your practice for the month, your awareness of self? What came up for you? It's always a pleasure to be here with you. I can't wait to see you next week.